Captain Greg here with Learn to Fish with us, and we have another segment to our ice fishing series. Today, what we're going to talk about is the different fishing combos I use while fishing and why I like them. So we're going to start out with a traditional fishing combo that has a spinning reel, and then you got your, uh, your rod. This fishing combo actually has a spring bobber. Um, as you're going to see through some of my fishing combos, uh, spring bobbers are really big when you're fishing panfish. And um, what you can do is sometimes the bite might be so light that you actually don't see it in the rod blank. But you will see the spring bobber uh, either go down. Sometimes you'll actually potentially see the spring bobber go up uh, if the fish grabs the bait and actually swims up with it. So... This is a traditional fishing combo. I have a few of them, but really, as you're looking through my portfolio of fishing combos, you can see that I have a lot of straight line reel. Straight line reel, what it is, is as a spinning combo, as you're turning the handle, it's reeling it in. So it's putting a little spin on the line. A straight line combo doesn't have a spin. All it does is wind the line this way. So what that does is eliminates any kinks or twist in the line. And that's why if I'm fishing shallow or deep, I am using, you know, a straight line reel. Uh, this combo, I really enjoy when I'm fishing shallow water. And uh, what it's really nice is it, it, it allows me to really palm the rod, keep my fingers straight. But this combo... Um, This combo actually has a nice little built-in bobber. So based on the weight of the jig, if I'm fishing with a heavier jig, I can put the spring bobber in a little bit further. If I'm fishing with a really light jig, I can bring it out further. But it really allows me to focus on that as I'm working the water column up and down. So this fishing combo um, is made by Frable. Um, and it's a palm. The line is all in here. It all comes off. You can easily, one nice thing about this combo too is if you get, if you get into issues where it's twisted in here, you can easily pop the bale off and put it back on. Another combo that I really like is, uh, I like this one. This one I can tell I use mainly for deeper water. As you can see, it's got fire line on. Fire line then goes to a barrel swivel, where then I go to a fluorocarbon leader. Um, what I like about that is when I'm fishing deeper water, um, I can actually feel the bite really good because of the fire line, but it also allows me to set the hook. The other thing I like about it is it's a light rod, so you know it's, this one's great for pan fishing that, and it has the orange and the bead on the end, so when you see a bite you can easily see them you know uh, biting uh clam makes also another great straight line reel um and so for instance this combo this combo is uh you know light so i would use this for uh pan fishing uh 13 fishing has a great rod. I, I, you know, I don't know if you can actually see it, but if you look, if you look at the blank, the blank isn't round. The blank is actually wide and very shallow. And what that does is really light biters puts a little more torque on the line, um, and and you're able to able to actually see the bite very light. I, I do like the chartreuse. Um, it's very easy to see when I'm jigging. Um, I'll use a ultra light to light when I'm fishing panfish, and I'll use a medium light to medium when I'm fishing walleyes. By far, my best ice fishing um, combo for panfish, especially when I'm fishing depths of eight foot to one foot, is this jiggler rod. And what I truly like about it is st straight line reel. The line actually goes through the blank of the rod. So I've had many times where I'm talking to somebody and I'm jiggling it and all of a sudden I feel a bite and I set the hook. Um, and then as you can see on the end, 
it has a spring bobber. So uh, everything I'm looking for in a panfish rod. The other thing about this, this blank is, you know, is it, just shy of four feet. What that does is if I want to work the water column um, and I want to get down, I can get all the way down. But if I want to work it all the way up to below the ice, I can actually work it to right below the ice. So this rod can easily cover six foot water column, uh, which in, in another video, we'll, we'll talk more about when I'm fishing, how I fish the baits. Here, we're basically just talking, uh, you know, about the combos. Uh, talk about, you know, talk a little bit about the action of the rod. So when I'm fishing panfish, I like to fish uh, ultralight to light. When I'm fishing, you know, walleyes, bass, uh, I like to fish medium to medium light. And then if I was fishing northern or uh, lake trout, trout, I'd probably be using a heavy rod. Um, Rod length. Rod length has a lot to do with, are you fishing in a shanty? If you're fishing in a shanty, that shanty may dictate on how long that rod can be. Other than that, you know, it's just the customer's preference of what type of rod do they like. Do they like to be really close to the hole? Do they want to be far away from the hole? Um, so that really talks about the uh, different uh, fishing rods and when to use them. Um, in, in one of my previous videos, it talked about the fishing line. Well, on all my rods and reels, I have a piece of tape on the reel or the rod, and it basically tells me what pound test and what line. Because I've had many days where a certain line will work much better than others. And when I go fishing, I'm going out there with probably 12 rods. So I got a couple different lines, you know, that I can use for poundage or different types of rod, like fluorocarbon, cold weather line. So that's why I like doing that. Another nice thing too is because I am going out there with so many rods, um, I just truly like having uh, having uh, covers. And, and Berkeley makes these. And what it does is it allows my rods from getting all tangled or twisted within my bag. One thing I'm not showing you here is a storage bag. Um, all these rods, most of the time I'll put these in a soft-sided storage bag. Again, it has my name and phone number on it. Uh, the Jiggler rods, uh, this actually goes into a gun case. Um, you know, a hard, hard uh, plain old gun case. And then what I can do is uh, I can travel with about eight of these, you know, four this way and then four this way, and they'll all fit in there. Um, one other big important tip with ice fishing rods, make sure that you don't keep any tension on it. So if I was to keep the tension like this and you see that bow in that rod, what could happen is over a period of time, this rod can take that shape. So I know sometimes it might have the jig come out, but I always make sure to back off any tension on my rod so that I can make sure that that rod is going to stay straight. So this is Captain Greg with Learn to Fish with us reviewing the different ice fishing combos that I use.